Hello, my name is Saad and today we are just going to discuss PowerShell. It's not about a very geeky introduction to PowerShell, it's about those people who are not familiar with the command line and who want to explore Microsoft's PowerShell. Before explaining PowerShell, it's important to just explore its history, that what was actually PowerShell and uh, how it came into being and what was the reason behind and the motives behind creating PowerShell. Well, we already know that uh, Michael started with DOS, that was a uh, disk operating system also known as command.com and uh, then after that uh, it was a huge hit but uh, that was so much powerful I would say Later on, Microsoft came up with the Windows 9X family of products. And the Windows 9X family, you know, the, that was not as much powerful in sense of in terms of uh, uh, more of a customization kind of thing. So, uh, but still, you know, CMD exists in the anti-based products even today as uh, CMD. Uh, but to perform uh, some really amazing kind of scripting and things, uh, we had to use the batch scripting language, the basic batch scripting language in other way, if I say, and that was termed as a uh, .bat file. Um, so, uh, but still, the CMD and the bat wasn't that much powerful as its ancestor, the DOS. So. It was long overdue for replacement, so Microsoft came up with the, the PowerShell. And uh, today, what we're going to do is that uh, we're just going to explore uh, PowerShell uh, on the Mac. And you'll be quite uh, amazed that we're just going to run PowerShell on Mac. Yes, it's true. So, what actually happened is that PowerShell is not available for Linux as well as for Mac. So, the things I'm doing right now for Mac works uh, similarly, almost similarly with uh, Linux. So, what I'm going to do is that this is the link that is github slash uh, uh, partial slash partial. So, um, here what I'm going to do is that uh, I've already done actually. So the Mac OS 10.11, so I can download the package and simply by clicking next, 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 I can install that. And once I've installed that, there is one sort of requirement that uh, you should have Build Studio code. The reason for having Build Studio code is that we're just going to write some script and uh, for that, we're just going to create some PowerShell file that is PS1 files. And for creating PS1 files, it's good to have a code editor. And VS Code does an amazing job for uh, code editing. And uh, when it comes to uh, PowerShell, so it has a great intelligence and support. We'll look uh, on that as well. But right now, what I would say is that uh, you need to download of VS Code for OS X, it's free of cost and free open source and run everywhere. It's uh, one of the amazing products for Microsoft. And the next thing what I'm going to discuss is that once you are up and running with the VS Code, so what you're going to do is that uh, you guys got to install a small extension. So to install extension, you just click here, the extension button here, and ext install ext okay I will see partial it's not working oh my god control shift okay oh, there you go ext install there you go so ext install and what I'm going to do here is that uh, I'm just going to install the plugin for PowerShell after I've installed the PowerShell's package.pkg file on Mac. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to type in PowerShell, PowerShell, and I hope it arrives. There you go. 
Just click on it and it will install the PowerShell. One of the requirements of the PowerShell is that you need OpenSSL installed. So to do that, uh, I'm having, uh, I would say, terminal here. And to do, there are very simple steps. For example, uh, sudo brew update then for you install OpenSSL funds you have installed OpenSSL you could link that to link that brew link uh, dash it force and OpenSSL it will link it and then you'll be able to do all of the stuff that you are just going to do and the rest of the videos so the, the amazing thing about PowerShell what I would say is that it's an amazing thing to learn once you are set up to just uh, get know that you have installed PowerShell. It's a very simple thing to try. For example, here I will say PowerShell, simply type in, and you would be here uh, welcomed with Microsoft Corporation, all rights reserved, and PowerShell is now up and running. You can see PS, user, and the dev, your path. So now you can try all of the commands that you like so for example if i say get dash command and there you go so all the uh, commands that are available i can uh, see here and uh, th this is one of the things that you can ensure that you have already up and running with powershell and next thing while well, setting up with VS Code. So it's important to create a folder. Once you have created a folder, you have to open a folder here. And after opening a folder, you can simply create new files. So if you haven't created a folder, you won't be able to debug it and uh, yeah, do a lot of more stuff because we're just going to debug it here in VS Code. And we can use the amazing experience of VS Code for debugging and things. So we need to open the folder. So these are working files and this is the complete folder I'm having. I can simply create a subfolder in that or a new file and do all kind of stuff here. So once you're ready, we will talk more about PowerShell in the next video and uh, we will start doing some amazing stuff with PowerShell.